Hi, my dear viewers, I have a very short mod video for you today, which I should have done a few weeks ago. Remember the Byzantine Imperials armor set I showed you the last time? Yeah, the same mod author decided to expand the Byzantine armory with some fitting weaponry. This means some throne weapons, of course, and they are done in a rather inventive, script-free way. As it is the case with the Byzantine armors, it mainly means late Roman weapons. The mod contains a creatively done spear, some javelins and plumbatas, which are basically late Roman darts, a few swords, a crossbow and one war axe. As far as the damage goes, the swords and axe are comparable to the steel and imperial counterparts, and the crossbow has the base damage of the standard down guard crossbow. You can craft all the weapons at the forge as soon as the mod is installed. What is slightly surprising is how this mod implements throwing weapons and spear combat. The javelins and plumbatas are scrolls, yeah, craftable under miscellaneous section in the forge menu. Uh, they have uh, appropriate weapon sounds, but the, the animation looks a bit out of place. What is good about this solution, however, is that it is script-free, so regardless of the size of your load order, you will not experience any performance issues or crashes. Of course, you can always complement the mod with something like the good old throwing weapon redux. This one, however, does use some scripts and it caused me some crashes in the past. Not too many, I would still highly recommend it, but consider yourself warned. What really made me giggle, however, is how the spear is implemented in Byzantine weapons. It's a staff, yeah, it's a staff dealing damage on hit. I'm not sure, but I think it means its damage is flat, uh, I mean uninfluenced by any weapon skill. It's fine on adept and expert difficulties though. And also it's simple, scriptless and doesn't require any animation animation changes. Uh, you just poke people quite convincingly with a basic staff animation. Some of these weapons could use some improvements in the texture department. The swords in particular look a tiny bit plasticky, uh, in my humble opinion, and so does the spear. The crossbow though, it's crude but convincing. I quite like the dark wood texture, I must say. By the way, did you know that late Romans used crossbows? Uh, yep, as far as I remember, there is a whole discussion about it, because nobody ever found a late Roman crossbow, uh, and it is derived from some military text, you know, it's a hypothesis. I might be wrong though, don't quote me on that. Anyway. Now with the armors and weapons, we can make many character builds inspired by that period. Not just some sword and shield legionaries, but also hunters, scouts, rangers and the like. But not wizards, of course. <laughs> A wizard is never late Roman. He always arrives precisely when he means to, Roman. <laughs> God, what an awful, awful joke. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> The late Roman gear is now complete and I think I will try to contribute to this beautiful thing personally. Make the crafting of the items depending on smithing perks, maybe add some enchanted ones to the leveled lists, uh, maybe make them working with custom fit perks, you know, things like that, odds and ends. It will take me a while, but it needs to be done. For now, thank you very much for watching, remember to stay subscribed and smash all the buttons mercilessly, we will see each other again, bye bye.